Warning, what you are about to experience is based on real paranormal events. Research of the occult has shown that heightened moments of emotion, such as fear, can encourage the manifestation of hauntings. But If, after playing this game, you experience abnormal happenings around your home or have sudden changes in the behavior of yourself or loved ones, reach out immediately to your local church and paranormal investigators. All right, I'm out. I'm not playing this. Nope, nope, nope. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Askelon, and welcome to The Mortuary Assistant. I've heard such good things about this game. I hadn't played a spooky game in a while. I think The Quarry was the last spooky game I played. I definitely hadn't played a short spooky game since I played Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Wait a minute. I didn't finish that game. I need to go back and finish that one. But anyways, it's been a while since I played a short spooky game. So here we are, The Mortuary Assistant. We're going to do a full playthrough, see what happens. And then we may do some multiple ending playthroughs in the future. That little warning at the beginning got me terrified to play this game. But you know what? We're going to do it. I'm going to try to also get through this game using only a keyboard and a mouse. So wish me luck. I got a new keyboard. I got a new mouse. And so I'm slowly trying to turn more into a PC gamer. Still a console boy at heart, but I'm playing more and more games on the PC. So I thought, why not? Let's get a new keyboard and mouse. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Let's go. I'm so glad it's almost over. Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. 1998, Connecticut. I'll never understand why you chose such a hard 13 years old. Field. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. I really am. You've come so far. So, you haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job where you are, or...? They actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. No, I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. River Fields. Oh, she didn't seem like she wanted to say that. I don't like that. Grandma. Oh. Even I've heard things about that Oh, place. that's Grandma. Oh, that was mama. Just be worried people about you. Make mama. Stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. Prepare I'm myself to be scared. We don't understand. I want to do some goofy stuff at first, y'all. I mean, no one's sorry. I apologize in advance. It's fine. Right, right. I'm sorry. But I wanted to give you this anyway. So, here. Oh, is that going to be my talisman? Protect me from the spooky stuff. That. Just take it, please. It should be yours anyway. Was that passed down generation to generation in the family? But if that's grandma, then that meant it's... it was passed down to either daddy or mommy. Right. Or I guess something stuff. happened to one of them so proud of or you. both of them. When is all this happening? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. Well, look like they're taking a the body somewhere to the hospital first. Might end up being one of the ones we look at later. All right, Riverfields Mortuary. This is like a nice, cozy place. Surely nothing scary will happen here. Right? All right, here we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sensitivity. All right, that's better. All right, so using a keyboard, mouse, like I said earlier, so just getting my bearings a little bit. Okay, we got closet here. Use box. Oh, gosh, that's probably going to come in handy later. All right, my movement's a little jerky, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm not used to this. The WASD way of moving. Mr. Devil's business cards. So this was established 1970, so about 28 years ago. Hey, lady. Got a cross in here. That's good. I feel very protected with that. Oh, got another one in here, too. Nice. A 
Oh wow, this is so weird using the mouse and keyboard. Oh, we can pick up a calculator. Let's see what's on this door here. Rebecca, one last thing I forgot to give you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Thanks, Zoe. P.S. Good luck. You grab the pencil. We can open up the drawers too. And then any of them. Okay, cool. All right, pencil. You sign paperwork left on the door. Oh, wait, I put it back. Oh, E is to take it. Okay, quick inventory. Access quick inventory and choose the item you wish to use. Most, but not all places where items can be used will cause the use item icon to appear. Okay, that's a little hand with a little piece of paper in it, I guess. We need to go over here first. Use the pencil. That signed it. Okay, that's I did. Oh, door open. Oh gosh, the windows down this hallway. I do not like that. What's up, buddy? Whoa, hey. Great. Perfect timing. Raymond, that's my name. Finish with Mr. Dalton What's up, guy? Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Okay, we need Mrs. Page. Okay, moving to deceased. Use the gurney by standing behind it, pressing the gurney interact key. Then walk backwards. I don't like that already. <laughs> with the gurney down the hall. Okay, and then we just go straight down the hallway. Oh, I do not like this at all. Something's going to jump up behind me at some point. Moving these bodies. Cold storage. To bring a body in and out of cold storage, open the bay with the body's name, pull out the rack, then move the cart over to it. Okay, this is him. Oh, I got to pull that out first. Crap. Oh, I got it. I got to move backwards myself, too. Gosh, I'm an idiot. Okay, glad we're getting this out of the way now. I'm glad there's a tutorial. Oh, it automatically snaps up. Okay. There we go. I keep forgetting I can move, too. Jeez. All right, is he all the way in? I don't even know. Whatever. Get in there. There we go. All right, cool. Dorothy Page. All right, come on out, Miss Page. Okay, we're going to get you up on this gurney. Got you like so. All right. I'm just finishing up something here, so why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks? I'll get out of your way. I like his voice. Here. Okay, clipboard. How do I get the clipboard? Clipboard. Use for forms and keeping track of mortuary tasks. Duh. Okay, space. All right, so we got Dorothy Page here. So we need to record any distinguishing marks and then enter them in the computer. Okay, so I guess we got to examine her body. So how do we examine her? Okay. Cover the cursor over unique markings such as moles, scratches, bruises, and interact with them to record them to the clipboard. Okay. Don't see anything here. Okay, I can rotate her. Okay, don't see anything on her back. What about her arm? Don't see anything? And she's... Clean as a whistle. Whoop! The crap. Hmm. What's These happened? Old windows never what? stay latched. What? Okay, I do see something on my foot. Got that. I got something on the right foot. Does it tell me how many things I need to look for? Three. Okay. Got one. Uh, left foot. Nothing. It's cool. I actually get to inspect the body. Sorry, Miss Page. Glad they put underwear on you. Oh, I didn't even see that. I think I got the game a little too bright. Let me turn on the brightness on. You know me, I like my games bright, but a little too bright. All right, so, cause let me see if I can see that now. Yeah, that makes it easier to see the stuff, okay? That was a little too bright the way I had it earlier. I like that she's got some sort of scratch there. Great. There we go, got all of it. everything into the record system. All right, cool. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. After that, we'll get started. All right, Ripfield's network how-to. To enter cadaver information, click the record system icon. What, what was that? You'll die here. You didn't say anything. You all right? I was about to take a sip of my drink, too. Yeah, I'm fine. What was that? Sorry. Was that him in my ear? Like, is this guy messing with me? Anyways... <laughs> 
Uh, hold on. I need a sip of my drink. Click the record system icon to open the program. Match the sections on your clipboard to the corresponding sections on the computer. Once all findings have been entered into the system, click submit to print out embalming records. Then file the records up front to begin the embalming. So I wonder if this is really what it's like to work in a mortuary. Looks like Dorothy Page has three things, okay? Alright, we got two things. Record shift and night shift. Ooh, what's night shift? Oh, you need a code. Sure, I'm gonna find that later. Alright, so... Okay, how do we do this? Oh. Oh! Click on it and then enter it here. Okay, so she got left shoulder mild abrasion. Rash on the left arm. And keratolis? Totalisis? Keratolis? I don't know. On the right leg? Whatever that K word is. Okay, is that all three? Then I hit submit, right? Oh, that's cool. I love how it looks like an actual computer, too. Really cool. Alright, this is printing out. Okay, a packet of mortuary paperwork related to the handling of the deceased. Fall up front so they are available if requested. Large item. What does that mean, large item? Guess my inventory space might be limited. Okay, so we place that here. Um. Oh, I gotta select it. Oh, I'm stupid. All right, now we're gonna embalm. That sounds like fun. All right, All right Dorothy, you ready? Set everything out so you I think our name's Dorothy. Get started. I'll be monitoring. Everything's on your list there if you need it. Okay, so I guess I look at the clipboard. All right, wire jaw shut. What? <laughs> With needle injector and settings needle. Okay, so I guess I go in order. Okay, look, my stuff is here. What's this? It's a troll car. Yeah, I don't need that. This needle injector, I need that. Then I need settings needle. Settings needle. Bar with the length of wire used to with the needle injector. Oof. Wire the jaw shut. They wire your jaw shut after you die. That's not how do I do this? It says inventory tab. Oh, so this is different. Large items are held in your hands. If both hands are full, you will need to drop a large item before picking up another one. Smaller items are kept in your pockets. Oh, that's cool. So this is my pocket inventory and in my hands. So you can only hold two things at one time because you have two hands. Mind blown. That's genius. Whoever made this game, awesome. Like, this seems so awesome for an indie game so far. I love the fact that you can actually go through the embalming process. This is crazy. So again, I wonder how realistic it is. View an item. So I selected an item. Its description will appear below it. If an item can be dropped, a drop button will appear under the item description. Okay, how do I do this? Okay. I don't have to like combine anything or anything. Set in the face. Pull the manipulator up and press the injector button to drive barbs into the skull. Then twist the wires to shut the jaw. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, how do I... Oh, I gotta get it all the way up. Oh gosh, this is a horrible sell. Sorry, Dorothy. Or should I call you Dot? Oh gosh. Oh, how long do I have to do this for? Okay, is that it? Oh. Wait. There we go. Oh gosh. Now her jaw is shut. Okay, wow. All right, anyways, insert eye caps to keep eyes shut. Wow, they do all of this? Crazy, I did not know this. Eye caps, used for holding eyelids shut. Man, I'm doing a good job of grabbing the correct stuff I need. Placing eye caps, use the manipulator to open the eyelid completely. Interact with the eye to place the cap, then close the eye. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, and then do I use the, oh wait, hold on, what's tab? Oh wait, no. Do I place the, oh, uh, stupid. All right. That was easy. Gotta just click on stuff. All right, mixed embalming fluid and pump. I need glutaraldehyde, methanol, humectant, and formaldehyde. I guess I said all of those correctly. Okay, they're here. So we got methanol, check. 
Humectant. Helps with retaining moisture. Can't hold anything else. Oh crap! My hands are full. Okay, I don't want to drop an item. Just do this. All right. Whoa. Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly, and it can make them pop like that. Ah, uh, that ain't no Just chemicals stored improperly. Okay. Popping. Crap, man. Something's moving stuff. Got a poltergeist in here. Can I put this stuff in here and in, in, not in order? Okay, I guess I can, because I guess it doesn't matter. It mixes. Okay. We can just grab one at a time. Formaldehyde, firming and preserving tissue. Okay. All right, then we got a little aldehyde. That also helps firm and preserve tissue. Okay, I'm getting a little bit better with the mouse and keyboard. I'm still turning kind of crazy. Sorry, y'all. I'll get better at it, I promise. And this was retaining moisture. Now, all this stuff moving got me looking around. I hate being here by myself, which I know is what's going to happen. I'm making a decision into the corroded artery and juggler vein with scalpel. I don't think I'm going to like this part. At the scalpel. Yep. Oh, I'm glad I know what things look like. Okay. How do I do this? Um, I guess I go on this side since the machine's there. So I'm looking at the neck, I guess. Yep, there it is. Oh, Use an item. Some items need to be used directly on the body. To use an item, open quick inventory and select the item needed. Use forceps to clamp tubing to both veins and connect the embalm embalming pump. Forceps and tubing. Use forceps. Yep. Grasping and compressing an artery. Oh. Tubing. This is like tubing. Yep. All right, cool. Go back to the hole we made. Alright, so I need forceps and tubing. Engage pump and let the body drain. Oh, this is gonna be the fun part. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Getting all those fluids out. Where is it going? Down there. Oh. So I guess the pump helps pull it out and it leaks all down there. Why are you watching me like this, man? You like Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> Standing there just watching me with his arms folded like... Doing a good job. So his eyes aren't as big as mine, I guess. Alright. Is it done now, I guess? Oh, that, that machine is loud. So I know weird stuff is going to happen because that machine is so loud. Alright, am I still working? Turn off pump and remove tubes and close incision. Alright, I already turned off the pump. I'll do the other two things, I guess. Okay. Oh, close you back up. Nice and easy. That was really quick. I like how it leaves a little, little mark there. All right. Fill an empty IV reservoir bag with cavity fluid. Then insert trocar into the abdominal cavity. Okay. So we need a reservoir bag and then cavity fluid. Fill it up. Yep. All right, where's the fluid? Is this it? No, that moved earlier. Oh, I got to do that over there. Okay. Oh. All right, so now is that feel? Full our reservoir bag. Okay, cool. And we need a trocar as well. I'm trying to make sure I'm not... Whoa, did y'all see that? There was something looking at me right here. I saw something move. Could be an animal. But I don't like the fact that this window is open. I don't like it at all. Okay, I'm assuming this is the trocar. Used for injecting cavity fluid. Okay. I know I saw something there. Go away. Don't mess with me. Alright. Oh, gosh. And then somebody just walked back there. My skin just crawled. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, okay. At first, I was just having a good time embalming this body. But now scary stuff started to happen. Okay. What am I doing? Okay. And then insert trocar. Okay, so I guess I just go and insert this. And I hate that I have to be on this side every time where this doorway is right here. Okay, filling body cavities. Insert the trocar until it stops to begin the flow of embalming fluid. Once the cavity is that cavity is full, pull the trocar back, rotate it, then reinsert until the reservoir bag is empty. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be moving it around.
Oh, I gotta hold it down. Oh, I love that sound. Oh! Oh, this is great. I don't know if I can move it much further than that. Oh, one more time. Perfect. Is that it? There we go. Okay. Okay, now I got footsteps, but hold on. Mix cleaners in the bathroom closet to create tank cleaner, then pour into the embalming pump. Okay. Bathroom, so we're going here. Of course they're gonna make me walk to the bathroom so that when I'm by myself, I can encounter stuff. Oh, there's a painting of Jesus. Okay, I got crosses and Jesus in here with me. Up in here. Okay, I do. Okay, cleaner base. Okay. Oh, I just need one of them. And I do that there. And that makes tank cleaner. Okay, sweet. All right, I'm just waiting for something to be behind me. Okay, what I got to do now? Okay, I'll pour into the bombing, bombing pump. Tank cleaner. And now you're getting pumped with embalming fluid. Okay, nothing scary. About to walk him by. Alright. Protect me, Raymond. Where are you? Protect me. It's gonna be so weird saying my name in this game. Alright, stand in the corner right here where I can see everything. The window, the two doorways. Oh, that was quick. We're done. Alright, what do I need to do? Apply moisturizer to facial features. What? Let me turn this off. Okay, no, I don't have to. Moisturizer. <laughs> a wipe used to moisturize the skin of the deceased. I'm gonna make them pretty. Dorothy, I'm gonna give you a little makeover, girl. Move the wipe across facial features while holding down interact until the lotion is used up. <laughs> this is cool. Hey, girl. Looking, getting you all. Oh, whoa, whoa. I got you a little too beauty. Beautiful. I said a little too beauty. Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over. For yeah, you. you you do that. Because uh, I don't like that. You sure? I just got here. Like I gave Dorothy acne don't there. Don't worry. You're I'm doing supposed great. to moisturize. I'll get the last of your papers oh, sorted today and call you in for your first Okay. Show. All right, cool. Go ahead. It's fine. I'll give you a call when we get someone in. Okay, all right. I'm leaving. I'm out, bro. About to get dark anyways. I don't want to be here tonight. Which I know I'm gonna be anyways in the future. Got an achievement, my first body. Hey, I am born my first body. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know it, it wasn't even my fault. I don't want to skip it. He sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? Like the setup of her apartment. So that's love that TV. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like, he just said it to get me out of the building. Uh, wait a sec, I have another call. <laughs> I remember phone beeps. Hello? When you're on the phone with somebody. <laughs> it's cool. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... Like she's on a cordless phone. I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. Thanks. Just not feeling too well. Okay. Oh, he's calling me in. He's sick. I was hoping you come in and take care of them. Well, uh, yeah. Are you sure? Them. I mean, of course. <laughs> Excellent. You're doing me a huge favor. I took care of the rest of your onboarding. We're all set. And your new badge is in your personal belongings drawer in the back room. Personal belongings drawer. Okay, that's, that's probably going to be important. Uh, thank you. Badge. I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel I know good. there's puzzles in this it game, too. You're solving a mystery as you're Bye. working on these bodies. Holy shit. That was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. <gasps> See? I told you it was fine. Mm -hmm, Megan. Congratulations. See? Thanks. I have to go. Like, right now. All right. About to, to head you. in, y'all. It's storming outside. Perfect setting for a horror story. My keys. Okay, we got to find our keys. Got your diary. In your coin, my sobriety coin. Oh, cool. Oh, can I put that in my inventory? Oh, I can. 
Five year coin. Dad's sobriety coin. I guess I'll take those. I don't know what the point would be. My dad's necklace. Love you, Dad. Okay, so that necklace belonged to Dad. But did the dad die? Maybe he wasn't really sober? Music band shirt. <laughs> Love that. But there's gotta be something with those coins later that I can use, maybe even at the mortuary. This is a cool little apartment. Where are my keys? Oh yeah, I gotta get my keys first. Alright, there's keys. Keys to the apartment car in the front door of River Fields. I need those. All right, temporary items do not take up space in your normal inventory. Use a temporary item by directly interacting with the object that requires it. Oh, so is that like my key? Oh, okay, so my key will not be here. That's good to know. So that doesn't take up space because that would be four spaces already. I don't know why I'm bringing these coins, but I feel like they might be important. Oh, man, it's dark. We here. My car. I drive an Atari. I don't know <laughs> what symbol that is. All right, let's get out of the car. Raining, close the door. All right, cool. All right, let's go in this front door here. Mr. Delver, sick boy, I'm here. Okay, let's go ahead and close that. Head to the back and get started. Oh, did he leave already? Is he not here? What the? What? Wh who was there? What? Why is there a person there? They got a cell phone. Where are the cell phones in 98? What? Who are you? Crap, man, what's going on? That didn't even really scare me, but like, why is that guy out there in the hood? Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside it's the convenient room. that he called right now. Try to stay calm. I know you're scared. Wait, what? I'll unlock the door in a moment. Is he what? Is that him? Very sudden, but listen to me. We have to what the crap? Away. Why are you locking so, me in here, man? What is? I had no way of knowing the possession oh of crap! I'm being possessed. But, but that doesn't explain him locking her in. Seriously, you need to act quickly. What do I need to do? I'll just leave. leave? I'll just fucking leave. <laughs> you can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine, so we stay. Hard to stay calm after you drop a bomb on me like that. Everything. Treat it like a normal day. Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. Oh, damn it. What the fuck? What? This is oh, he insane. ran off. Really can't leave. This is so stupid. It's just some hazing for the new girl or something. <laughs> hazing. Just... Hey, what did you leave Just me on the desk, man? And do your job. Love me the calculator? Oh, this box. Oh, it says Rebecca on it. <laughs> oh, we got a tape recorder. All key. Old key. What is that for? Tape recorder. It's this tape recorder. Oh, I don't have the coins anymore. Well, what was the... How do I go to my whole inventory? Tab. Okay, I got nothing in my hands. Okay. I don't play the tape recorder. Oh, I guess I gotta find tapes. I guess he left me some tapes, but there's not any in the boxes. Anything in here? Oh. No. Oh, cool. You can see my feet. Like that. Love details like that in a first person game. Alright, anyways. Go ahead and open this up because I'm about to rush in here to mix stuff. Oh, I need a key. Which one is it? The old key? That's not it. Nope. I guess hall key. Okay, here we go. Quitting tomorrow. I mean, who does something like this? This is the old key. That's okay. Wait. Oh, it's automatically unlocked. What's the old key for then? Hmm. Hey, what do you want, Raymond? All right, listen carefully. Everybody loves Raymond, but right now I don't. This entire thing is extremely unprofessional. It is. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Nope, it's not. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do. It's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far. So you locked me in here with it? That, you will need to learn the demon's name. Kinda need to pay attention to this. To Let's see. Chosen body and burn learn a name, bind it, burn it. Sounds easy. I know this I'm sure it's not gonna be. In. I wish I could do more for you. I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. I've recorded a number of 
cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be well, couldn't the tapes, the tape recorder be manipulated? I guess since it's like a recording, maybe it's already been recorded Open it up. in a cabinet, luck, cabinet. I'm sorry this had to happen. That's flashing yellow right there. This is insane. You said cabinet. This just be the professional one, grab a body and get this. started. Okay, that's locked. Oh, can I use the okay on this? Okay. So this has got to Okay. This is important. Oh, Ooh, wow. Okay, but let's listen to these tapes first. There's one here, so let's listen to that first. Okay, this is mini cassette. Number one, night shift system. Oh, that's on the computer. The night shift database. Okay. Oh, I can't get into the computer. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demise. Okay, awesome. So I gotta consult that. Never forget what to do. I will. Okay, that's probably what that is over there. That's yellow. Okay, let's check this out really quickly before we go start grabbing bodies. So I guess the... Should I close this? Ah, I want to see what's coming though. I guess the gameplay is kind of essential. Oh, is that the... Oh, that's the coins. Okay, let's just leave those there and the necklace. I may need them later though. Oh, my new work badge. Oh, this is... And nothing on the back. This is my drawer. Where's his then? Okay, here's his. Let's see. Raymond, I really need a key to the hatch outside. Cleaner is low, and you mentioned having some down there before. Okay, so there's a hatch outside that I gotta try to get into. I know you don't trust anyone to go down there, but having a copy of the key would make things a lot easier for everyone. Do I already have a copy of the key? Hatch outside. I may go check that out in just a second. Zoe, trying to get, get familiar with my surroundings. Okay, there's keys right here, but I can't take them. Extra keys. Wait, no. Go back. There's his card. Oh, gosh. Look at his picture. <laughs> All right, anyways. 0778. So is that the code to the database? 0778. All right, so like I was saying is, I guess I got three bodies to examine. Whatever. Just grab a body right. and get started. I get into the computer. Computer locked. Turbo. Achievement unlocked. Okay, I guess I gotta wait until I get to that point. Okay, anyways, let's listen to these tapes. This is tape number three. Ah, let's not listen to that one. Let's listen to two. Alright, tools of expulsion. To banish a demon to hell, I watch it my surroundings. To its chosen body. Move right here so I can see everything. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. Oh, First, let's look at this really quick. The clay tablet a tablet it's called a mark oh cool Placing the smaller pieces in the correct oh will spell the yeah, I move these here so I gotta get four of them second okay. the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. bail for reagent Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process okay when the mark is placed I gotta remember to do that I'll, I'll put it in I guess I can put it in every time force the demon to become bound to it pay attention to signs okay so that's got to be in there and then I place that on the body they Okay. Oh, I gotta watch out. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. That means you can get this wrong too. I wonder what happens. That happened. Whoa! What? Letting strips? Okay. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn. Okay. I hold this paper up. If it burns. Okay, let me go ahead and take one of them. So look the on is to use that. Okay, that's the only thing in my inventory. Anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them. So check regularly. I'll check ever so often. I gotta remember that. And use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigils. Mm -hmm. Build the 
I found a sigil already. I'm gonna try it after this tape really quick. And we'll come back and listen to that one. Okay, okay so it's not on fire, obviously. Was the demon here already? Oh, whoa, hey. Whoa. Okay, oh, we already got one. Where? Where is it? It said it could be anywhere. Then here. Oh, there it is. It's on the mirror. What kind of symbol is that? It's like a... A J with something coming out of the top right. Oh, we got one of the marks already, y'all. I didn't think that would happen that quickly. Maybe we can figure it out before we even embalm a body. Okay, so let's see what symbol that is. Okay, it's the, this right here. I'll just place it anywhere. Okay. It seems like there's a certain order to it, so I... Can I, sh can I move these? Oh, crap. I can't move it. Okay, I can do it like that. Okay, so if I need to rearrange it later, I can. Okay, cool. We got one down. Wish I can get into the computer. I can't. Okay, let's grab another letting strip. Let's always keep at least one of those on us. All right, the process of possession. Ooh, that's going to be important. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you. I like this so far, y'all. But this is my first time being by myself, so it might be scary. Really scary now. can be bad though you the information to guess its name. oh the so i gotta allow it to, i gotta get close to it so it may not be until deep into the night till i figure out all three of those those other symbols i'm on a piece of paper don't think about it just scribble oh look carefully if you notice yeah, how do i do that oh okay oh gosh that thunder Let's go grab that. Whoa. Is that the tape stopping? All these little atmospheric noises. Hey, where's the paper? Oh, paper and pencil. There we go. Can be used to check how far one has slipped into possession. Using inventory. Oh. Nope, oh, not that. Okay, I, know, I can't get to the inventory from there. Okay. Wait, where is it? Is this it? Oh, okay. So it's just, okay, so uh, obviously I'm not almost possessed yet fully. So it's just scribbles. So I guess maybe later it's going to be more than just scribbles, probably. What is this? On my clipboard. Let's go ahead and take that because we're going to need it. All right, let's go get a body. Still can't get into that, though. I really want to check out that night shift database. All right, who we got? We got Dominic Martin, Noel Navarro, and... B. Baron. No first name whatsoever. All right, I'm going to start here. This Dominic guy. Or wait, was it Dominic Martin? Because I want to go in order. Oh, I got to grab the gurney. This is the fun part. Grabbing the gurney and walking backwards. Making my way down this long skirt. Crummy old building. Trying to sing a song. Me in here. Scaring the shit out of me. Trying to sing a song. You don't flash lights. Making my way down this long hallway with the gurney in this scary old place. Is that my shadow. Okay. All right, let's check you out. I really want to close these doors, but I want to see if something walks by so I know something's about to get me. All right, first step again is to yeah check out the marks. Dominic Martin, thirty-five. Man, young. A lot younger than that first lady. Um, actually, you know what? Uh, I would close that door in real life, but I'm gonna leave it open in here. All right, let's check out your head. Oh, I see something there. Oh, let's back up. What the heck just Hello? happened? All I did was touch that man's head. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm moving slowly. Oh, I'm moving slow. What? 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 Can't move. 
Well, I can barely move. Everything's fine. It's it's fine. No, 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 it's not. What? No, I, I just, just I'm talking to myself. I'm just saying things. I just need to get back to work. Oh gosh. It's it's fine. Nope. Still trying to get out of here. Oh, I can leave now. Why is this unlocked now? Here, let's go check out this hatch. Let's see if I can. Although this hatch sounds pretty scary. Where is it? So I can know where it is later. Alright, let's see if we can find it. Oh man, I'm like closed in here through a gate. I would so be climbing that gate in real life. Y'all don't even know. The moment that body's set up like that, uh-uh. Out. Out. New job. Oh, that's that window right there. Okay, here's the hatch. Alright. Oh, I don't have a... Oh, okay, so I guess it's a different key for this. Of course. Well, I, of course I can go outside, but... Can't leave. Wrapped in here. Alright, anyways. Back to Dominic's head. This door's closed now. Stop closing my doors. Alright. Now, please, don't scare me again. Okay? Okay. What is on your face, man? We got pimples. Hold on. How much stuff we got? Five. I have a choice. I'm stuck here. Fuck. Ain't nothing there. Touch your back. Nothing there. Alright. Okay, like some sort of bruise there. Anything on the back side? Oh. Alright. Yeah, it seems like some of the stuff you can kind of see. I don't see anything on his legs. Oh, wait, there. Left leg. Okay. Alright, we need two more things. About this arm here. Oh, there we go, right there. Oh, wait, I forget. I can rotate him on his back. There we go. I oh, got shot back there. Now, can we go to the computer? Wait, is the computer time? Yeah. And now we can get into the computer. Okay, now here we go. Alright, what was that code? I forgot it. Sorry, I gotta sit up. Seven, eight. Enter. Okay, here we go. This database is a collection of my findings. I'm not gonna read all this out loud to you. Pay attention for to each body for demonic activity. So maybe that's gonna help me figure out which body it is. Well, this first body right here did something weird. But I guess I'll have to check out the other two bodies. Just see. Lesser spirits. Oh, it's got like ghosts in here too. Like the woman in white. Oh, wow. So you will see... Are these things going to manifest? Shadow man. Mimic. Okay. Uh, to identify. Okay, so this may help me with the body. While any of the bodies can be manipulated, it's easier for the entity to control its own vessel. Sudden movements, large or small, can be a sign of tendency. If a body appears to be more active than others or strange markings start to appear, it may be signs. Okay. Remain elusive and may manifest these manipulations on other bodies why it's important to take note of which body is experiencing these events the more events linked to a specific body the more likely it is to be chosen oh, okay so multiple bodies may do weird things the appearance of new markings on the body okay so stuff like that that so huge crazy scratches and stuff okay sudden movements large or small repeat movement is one body more active than others okay yes it is it Okay, this was the symbol that I found, so it could be this person. I'm sure it's not going to be that easy. It could be this one as well, or that one. I figured. Oh, wait. Ah, I keep exiting it out exiting out of it. No. Keep forgetting I can hit the back button. What the crap was that? Y'all heard that knocking, right? I'm trying to research stuff. Who's knocking? Not from back here? Who's knocking? Stop knocking. I'm trying to research. Leave me alone. Not right now. Not today, Satan. <laughs> One of my uh, seventh grade football players used to wear a t-shirt like that to practice. <laughs> All right, anyways. Okay. Oh, man. These got the signs. That same symbol, too. So it could be a bunch of them. So I guess the, obviously the more symbols I have, the more I can narrow that down. So there's not even a point of looking at that right now. All right, now let's get started on the body finally. 
actually do my job. My real job that I'm getting paid for. I don't know if I'm getting paid. What was that? Heard a noise. I'm not getting paid to banish demons. Alright, let's just enter this onto the computer. Oh man, my skin is crawling. Okay, get out of this. And this. Alright, I didn't see any weird scratches on him. It's that K-word again. Right arm. Left arm. Leg. You need to file a copy up front. Oh gosh, she sounds scared to do that too. Gosh, is something weird gonna happen? Bother me. Filing paperwork. Oh. Alright, let's go and bomb. I wish it'll stop thundering. That is not cool at all. Alright, wire jaw shut. Needle injector. And all of my stuff's not sitting here conveniently. Now I gotta figure out where things are. I guess in here. Yeah, there's that. Okay, and then I saw this earlier. Alright, setting needles. Hi, Dominic. We're just gonna wire your jaw shut, buddy. Forget how to do this. <laughs> oh, nice and slow. No. There we go. Up it with the lights. Playing with me. All right, I caps. All right, where are those? In here. Okay, scalpel. Forceps. I caps. There we go. I'm gonna have a hard time remembering where all this crap is. Hi, hey, buddy. Just gonna give you some eye caps. Let's open your eyes all the way. Pop those in. Nice. Right. Or so good. You're not doing anything weird. Oh, reagent. Okay, that's been added to the list. So I gotta glutaraldehyde, methanol, all those things. I'm gonna go ahead and put the reagent in first, so I don't forget. Maldehyde. I need that. Okay, there's one here. What's this? Methanol, I need that. What's this? Humectant. Nice. What's the one I'm missing? The glutaral glutaraldehyde. Glutaraldehyde. Oh, up there. Perfect. What? Stop making noises, man. Who's making noises back here? Y'all having a party back here? A death day party? Chill out. A scalpel was in here, right? Yep. Scalpel. Nice. A forceps and tubing. I keep thinking something's behind me. Where's all that at? Okay, forceps are over here, right? They're in this drawer. Yep. A freaking tubing. Oh, is this it? I had to get really close to grab that. Okay, so the tubing's down there. Alright, forceps and then tubing. All right, now do we start the machine, right? Yeah, pretty soon, hopefully I'll have all this memorized. Uh, why can I start the machine? Engage pump and let the body drain. Why can I engage the pump? Oh, that's probably why. What the heck is going on? What the crap is that? What is that? I'm not gonna have to go to that. Oh yeah, it's like making me. Or I just move my mouse forward a little bit or something. I don't know. Oh god. No. No. Hi. Crap, what the crap, what the crap, what the crap, what the crap. What 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 was that? 
Look at this way. I need a letting strip. Letting strip. I'm gonna let all up in here. Nothing. Oh, hey. Hey. We smoldering? Where at? Which way? This door was closed. This way? No, nope, not this way. Go back. Can't turn around. What we smoldering at? Oh, right here. Okay. All right. Where? 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 Even the smoldering of that thing scares me. Check. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's a, there's a way to crouch, but I can see it anyways. It's like two T's with little bumpies on it. Okay, we got the second one, y'all. Two T's with little bumpies on it. Let's go in here. Two T's with little bumpies on them. Wait, how do I do this again? Okay, there we go. All right, so those two symbols. Let's see. Let's look at the database. Two T's thing and the other thing. We're going to start narrowing this down. Okay, it could be this one. Okay, it's not that one. So we got... This is a possibility. Okay, that symbol. Okay, and that. So it could be this one as well. I'm assuming there's gonna be possibility in each one. But now, now that we found two, yeah. Could be this guy as well. I think that's it. Oh no, it could be this guy too. So there's four possibilities. All right, what's next? Gauge pump. Now I can probably do that. <laughs> probably. Oh, wait, it's dark down here. Where's the light switch? Why are you cutting lights out on me? All right, let's engage this pump. Crap, the phone's ringing. Oh. Raymond, is that you? I thought you said you weren't going to call back anymore. Hello? Hello? Rebecca? Rebecca? Not Raymond. What the? Who was that calling? Anyways, start this freaking pump. There we go. Oh gosh, that's so loud. I forgot how loud that is. Oh gosh. I'm just gonna stand in the corner. Huddle in the corner like a baby. There's no windows behind me, right? Okay, good. Huddle in the safe corner. This is my safe space. I'm trying to listen. I'm like leaning towards the computer screen. See if I hear anything weird going on. Yeah, I'll be able to see anything if it comes through that window or those two doorways. Unless it's like strong and powerful and it comes through the wall behind me. Alright, you stop that. It's way too loud. I right, turn off pump, remove tubes, close incision. Close you up. Whoa, what? Whoa, hold on. Getting trippy here. Fill empty reservoir bag with cavity fluid. Okay, where's the reservoir bags? That was a weird trippy moment. Oh, that says tubing on it. Okay. Oh, there we go. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, so those are up there. Cavity fluid. Pro cars are here, right? Yep. <laughs> Love the sounds this makes. There we go. Alright, like I'm getting so used to things happening that I don't want that like every time I do something, oh here's the cleaner part. Crap. Like, every time I do something, I keep thinking something bad's gonna happen. Really? We gonna play that game? You gonna really close doors on me? Guess I should've kept it closed until I did this. Hey, pour into embalming pump. Closing doors on me. I'm not gonna let this thing win, y'all. It may scare me, but I'm not gonna let it win. No, oh, I was trying to use that there. Come on, Rebecca. Hush, loud again. Okay, retreat to my corner. My safe, my safe space. I hate this lamp. It's right here. I'm standing like right in here, just so I can see everything. Apply moisturizer. All right, I saw the moisturizer wipes were there. They return to cold storage. So far, other than sitting up earlier, body hasn't done anything weird. Moisturize ya. Down in them pores. All right. Okay. Now I can wheel it back in. All right, come on, buddy. Let's go for a trip. Your feet are wiggling. Is that sign of demonic possession right there? All right, bye, buddy. See ya. Uh, whatever your name is. What's your name again? Dominic. All right, now let's get to another body. 
So who do we want? Next, we're gonna get Noel. Navarro. Alright, I'm getting better at this. Alright, Noel, your turn. Not gonna do anything weird, are you? I haven't walked around with a letting strip. Oh! There was something behind that. You can't see me pointing at what I'm pointing at, but behind that little white cabinet thing. Did y'all see it? Why? Why does this game keep doing this to me? I wanted a spooky game, and here we go. All right, Noel. Gotta check you for your crap. 21 years old? Man. These people are young. All right, she's got three things. All right, this is it. I I'm closing this door. I don't like that door. <laughs> All right, I think I see something there. She's already got a... She already got a scratch there on her head. Or on her neck, I guess. I said on her head. Oh, but I guess that's not what I'm looking for. Flip that over. Nothing. All right, where are your other two marks at, girl? Oh, you got something on your leg there. I didn't see that at first. Oh, you got something else too. Oh, you got more poison ivy. On both feet. You stepped all up in it. You must have stepped in it after you got shot as you was trying to get to a hospital. Why does this keep happening to me? Someone's talking to me. I don't know what they said. All right, anyways. All right, let's get your crap entered into the computer. Noel, I think that's your name. All right, get out of my awesome night shift database for right now. Hey, okay, your entry number two. Noel Navarro, age 21. Nope, 21. Oh, wait. It automatically puts that stuff in. Mole on the head. Okay. That K word on the right leg. I need to look up what that is. Grab that. Let's go file that. I hate having to walk down this hallway to go to the bathroom and to file this. Check my corners. Okay. We're so good. All right. File no ills. All right. Let's go do the rest of her crap. I can never get used to this sound. This <laughs> sounds like this would hurt. Fortunately, they're dead already, so nothing can hurt them anymore. But gosh, this seems so painful. Like, imagine being alive and this happens to you. Like, this makes me think. Like, people have been buried alive. And I think a lot of that happened back before they had all this type of technology. But still, like, imagine being not dead and somebody wires your jaw shut like that. Oh, wait. Close that. Okay, open them eyes all the way, girl. Pop them caps in. Ugh. Right. So, when bodies come in like that, are their eyes, like, wide open like that? That's creepy. Mix embalming fluid and pump. Wait, hold on really quick. I noticed something about her. I can't look at her face, but it looks like... Almost looks like she's smiling too. Kind of creepy. All right, anyways, get our fluids in, our liquids. Bell for reagent. That's a must. Hey. Okay. Hello. So you gonna knock on my closed door, huh? Gonna knock on my closed door, huh? Who in here? The little thing that was hiding behind the cabinet. Yeah, you were hiding from me because you're scared. You're scared, I'm going to banish you. I'm closing that back. What was that? What was that? Is that? Oh, that's the, th the thing pulled out. Anyways, I'm closing that back. Hey, don't, don't be knocking on my door. I'm not three's company. Don't go knocking on my door. All right, humectant. What if I mix this wrong? I wonder what'll happen. Keep forgetting, I don't need the bleaching agent. I wonder what that's for. I wonder if I'm going to ever use the bleaching agent. I poured formaldehyde and I ended up... Where am I? Crap, what's going on? Where am I? What is this? Wait, where's the phone? Oh, it's on the wall. What? Were these flashbacks or something? Like, are they hers? Grab a kid. 
that mean? Apartment doesn't look. Whoa. Man, don't be rolling up on me like that. Can't open that door. Man, don't be don't be don't be rolling up on me. What is this? Oh, a heroin kit. Oh, I figured this was the type of place for that. I love the the fuzzy little unicorn that was on it. That was very nice and lovely. So we got little kids doing heroin here or something? Oh, don't know. Is that it? Is that all I can interact with? All right, let's leave. Can't leave. What? What is? Why is this filling up with water? What the crap is going on? Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Flash is a body. Who are you? You did this to me. Is that her dad? So did he? What's the crap? What's the crap? What's the crap? What's the crap? Okay. What? She did that to him? What is going on? So they, were they both on drugs? She was on drugs as a little kid? And her dad died? Whoa, 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 whoa. I sure some whispering. Man, uh uh. No. No, no, no. I don't like these flashbacks. Wait, is there something standing right there? No. Okay, I keep thinking, like, I'm starting to see, like, regular everyday things and starting to think that it's something scary. Gosh, what was I doing? Glutaraldehyde and methanol. Okay, one was... Wait, where is it? Up here, glutaraldehyde. Okay, back to this. Just pretend like everything's normal here. Methanol, where are you? Nope, that's formaldehyde. Methanol, methanol. Oh, yeah, you're over here. Okay, pretend like everything's just normal here. We're not seeing weird stuff. Oh, I need to use a letting strip. Letting strip, man. Oh, it's already smoldering. Yes, yes, yes. Give me that third one. Hey, I was over here somewhere. Is it on the inside of this? No. Oh, what is this? Hold on. There's some sort of keypad down here. Hold on. Oh, what is this? Will the same data big thing work? What is it? 0778? No. Oh, it seems like that's more numbers. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Okay. All right, I gotta remember that. That's a little secret right there. Oh, there it is. Okay, that little cut off three mark. Okay, Let's see here. Is that it? No, it's that one. Okay, so now let's see what has all three of those symbols. It's probably gonna narrow it down to two. Well, hold on. I got to deal with something really quick. Why do they keep doing stuff when I am trying to figure this out? Door just closed. It's locked. Oh, crap. Oh, gosh. There was a lady standing there. I'm going to have to go this way. Oh, hey. Get away from... Oh, 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 oh. What? 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 <laughs> what? Is this door still locked? What the heck? Try to be brave, y'all. Whoa. What was that? Oh, something moved right there, too. That might have been a little glitch right there. All right, stop bothering me while I'm trying to figure this out. All right, it could be this F one here. Okay, and then... Wait a minute. I missed this the first time. Oh, yeah, I had this one on my list, too. So it could be both of these. Of course. Okay, so we got to find the fourth one, then. All right, let's go look at the other two, though. All right, where were these at? This one was here. Could be this one, too. And then the other one was in this house here. <laughs> yep, I got to find the fourth one. So even if you get three, you can't guess. There hasn't been anything back here, but then I just saw this lady back here. I'm on smolder. Give me that fourth symbol. But it's, it's probably not going to happen until I get to the third body, I'm sure. It's like it wants you... Oh, I haven't checked something else either. Hold on. Okay, it's starting to make a shape. Alright, I'm starting to get possessed slowly. But surely. Okay, so... I need to find this fourth mark. But I'm pretty sure I'm probably not going to get in until I get the third body. So far, this body hasn't done anything, no. The first body did do something. Right, let's scalpel your crap. 
Zoop, just like that. All right, and now I think I got this memorized. We need the tube and the forceps, right? Grab the tubes, girl. I get up close and personal with that. We need, nope, that was it. Grab that, thank you. All right, so we need forceps, tubing. Damn, I remember that step. Oh, no, man, dude, stop. Stop it, doing that. So, so far we've seen the lady in white, I think, and the shadow man. Oh, gosh. Oh, I hate this part because it's so loud. Like, if I was working by myself in here for real, like this part, this would be the part that I'll be terrified. I'll be like, constantly looking around like, all right, anybody here? I don't want nobody sneaking up on me. I cannot have this job. <laughs> Do morticians really work by themselves? And night shifts, like, I need at least another person in there with me or something. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Go that way. Go turn that crap off. Turn that crap off. <laughs> Sup up. All right. Close you right up. Gotcha. Just taken care of there. Close that back. <laughs> Keep forgetting to do that. All right, fill empty IV reservoir bags. And those are up here, right? Yes. Oh, that. All right, then we need a trocar. And then my favorite part, trocar that stuff. Please don't bother me while I'm trocarring, demons. Thank you. I mean, you want to scare me some more, I'll be right with you. Very soon. Just got to finish trocar in this. What am I doing? I'm putting the embalming fluid in right now, I think. Now, I'm done trocaring, so... If you want to scare me, then you can now, I guess. Oh, I got to go in the bathroom. Hi. Anybody here? Oh, gosh. Oh. I was about ready to turn that light, turn the lights back on. I like the flickering and the flackering. Hey, okay, no flickering and flackering. No thundering either. Oh wait, gotta open it first. I don't see anything right there. Treat to my corner. Oh gosh, I'm about to hear voices. Ooh, maybe I need to pull out a letting strip after this. Is that like music or something? What is that? Why does this keep happening? Yeah, it sounds like music. Oh, not the phone again. I'm about to moisturize. No L. I can't turn around. <laughs> what? Hello? At this point, I would just stop answering the phone. I'm going to kill you, Rebecca. Um, don't kill me. Just trying to figure out your name. Like, I don't know why you gotta get violent. Give me some letting. Every time I say letting, it reminds me of Letty from Fast and the Furious. I'm gonna show Rodriguez this character. Right, let's go ahead and moisturize you, and then take you back. Take you back, 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 back. So far, she hasn't done anything weird. The first body did, so as of right now, I think it's that first body. But we got to figure out that last mark, though. So. All right. All right, let's wheel you back. Hey, going backwards down this hallway. Let's know something bad's going to happen. But why am I stuck? Whoa, hey. Is that the mimic there? That look like that body. Okay, this body has done something weird too. Oh. Are you pointing? I'm stuck. Hey, you're pointing this way. Great. Hey, this body. Oh. <laughs> My bro had to come at me like that for. Oh gosh. My bro had to come at me like that. Oh gosh, what is this? Okay, this body's definitely doing some weird stuff. Like, contortion artists here. Got me all trapped here. What's going on in here? What the crap, man? Knock it off. Oh. Oh, yes. It's gotta be Noel. It's gotta be Noel. Okay. 
because the way she bent like that, I mean, the first body did some stuff too, but she did some stuff. So it's got to be her. Got to be you, Noel. Sweet Noel. I'm going to banish you once I figure out that last mark. Can't open her door. What the crap? I guess I can't open the door with her on it. Oh, I can slide her in through the door. <laughs> oh, that was funny. All right, your turn, B. All right, I got to check my sanity when we get back in here. All right, so we got to check you for crap. 53. Okay, he's a little bit older than everybody else. He's got six things on his body. Great. Before we do that, though. Oh, wait, no, I was going to check my wrong button. Check my sanity. Okay, I'm still good, I guess. I don't know. Assuming that uh, that symbol, whatever I'm doing, is going to become a little bit more prominent. We're getting close to the mystery, and I, I don't think the demon likes it, y'all. We're getting close to figuring it out. I just hope I can figure it out before I get fully possessed. I feel like that's a bad thing. There was a lot of knocking back here earlier. Surely something's going to combust back here. Why is she out? I put her away. I know I did. Okay, she is definitely, definitely the one. A lot of activity with her. All right, so I guess we'll wait for something strange to happen while I'm doing Mr. Baron's body. It's funny he has a first name. It's just B. All right, look, he got something on his forehead. Got a mole or something right there. All right, that's two things. Oh, wait, I forgot to rotate your hand just in case. All right, nothing there. Got something on your foot there. Okay, that's three. There's four and five. You got two things on your back, buddy. And so I'm assuming the last thing is going to be on the underside of your arm. Oh, yeah, right on your hand. What crap is that? Entry three, Baron, three, got blemishes on his head, mole and rash on the left shoulder, mole on the right arm, he got a lot of moles, wonder if he died of skin cancer maybe, hermangioma, yeah that doesn't sound good, is it all six, one, two, three, four, five, six, yep, damn my safe corner until this prints out, then we get to visit up front, yay. Love this going back and forth. Right, there we go. Make sure I'm still recording. I've been recording for a good while. Longer than normal. But some of the stuff I can cut out, obviously. Alright. Yeah, we got to wire the jaw shut. I am. I like how the inventory actually depletes in this game. Like, I've been using this stuff, so it's depleting. Oh, wait. Close you. Alright, hi. The fun part. This and the truck car are my favorite parts. Oh, that noise. There we go. Oh, I don't have to do that nice and slow. I just have to do it three times. <laughs> Took me j until now to figure that out. All right, eye caps. Yeah, eye caps is mixed. Oh, I didn't mean to pull that out. New keyboard is very sensitive. I like that and I don't like that. I like that it's sensitive, but it's going to take some getting used to. I was using this uh, old right. Dell uh, uh, computer, an old Dell uh, keyboard before then. Oh gosh, something weird's happening. Talk to me. What you gonna say to me? Don't say to me. Hey, can I continue to work while I'm looking like this? Let's try. Let's grab that. Are you sure? Talking to myself. Oh, my sanity's getting worse. It's not just scribbling anymore. Okay, so when it's just scribbles, my sanity's pretty good. Okay, I gotta... Let's let... We gotta figure this out. Crap. Oh, gosh. Why are you moving? I thought it was Noel. Oh, you're pointing. So they're manipulating this body, too. But Noel, like, contorted and crap. This one didn't. Okay, let me put the letting strip away for right now. What is this? Why is this hallway going on and on? Oh, I don't like this. I'm stepping into the twilight zone here. What are they muttering? This is the hallway that never ends. Wait, God has left you. No, he hasn't. He's with me. Got the Jesus painting out there. Now y'all can't scare me. You can't scare me, lady. 
No, you can't skip. You just went through the wall. Do I go back now? Wait, brick wall here. Can't scare me, demons. I'm gonna banish you. Oh, hey. Whoa, I'm getting trapped. Who are you? See, there you go. God has not left me. Jesus is with me. I got the crosses right here. What in, what in the world was I just doing? How did I end up here? I was going down the other hallway. That's weird. All right, let's let. Come on, give me that last symbol. You know you want to. You know you want to. You're being a butt. Don't want to. But I know you want to. Give it to me. Again. I wonder if I have to finish all three bodies or can I like go ahead and burn Noel? Because I still think it's Noel. I'll go ahead and burn Noel as soon as I find this last one. I don't know. I guess we can try it and see. But I don't think I can pop this body back until I complete everything. I guess I can probably will him back in here. Alright, what is... I know this is the cremation thing, but I haven't interacted with this thing. What's this? I can use something here? What did I use there? Something I can use there? I don't know, but there's something I can use on that. I guess when it comes time to burn them. Oh, I guess matches. The Are there... Where are the matches, by the way? Weren't there matches in here? Pop that thundering. The weather's against me, too. I thought I saw matchboxes earlier. Maybe I'm seeing things. Oh, wait. There we go. Matchboxes. One left. Oh. I was about to go try it on the thing just to see what would happen, but I need to say that until I'm sure which body it is. All right. Anyways. Oh, yeah. We got to mix this crap. Keep forgetting where I'm at because all this demonic activity keeps distracting me. Oh. See? Again, I keep forgetting what I'm doing. There we go. All right, let's get all this crap. Let's get the methanol first. It's just right here. Grab it, girl. Come on. I already have one of those. What? I do. When did I get? Oh, I I tried to grab it twice. I think I was like, when did I get methanol? Hey, that's the bleaching agent. I know that now. Maldehyde. Little aldehyde. All these the hides up in here. Up in here. Whoa. Why does this keep doing this to me and the lights are out? Oh gosh. <laughs> Am I possessed? Did I lose? Oh, okay. All right, I guess I need to let, hold on, the light's still out. Uh-uh, turn that, where the light's at? Oh, they're right here. Turn that back on. Let's let. Come on, give me the fourth one. Come on. All this bad stuff keeps happening to me. Give me the fourth one. Give it to me. Dare you. I thought I saw something flash in that mirror right there. But that was just the lighting. Come on, give me the fourth one. Gosh, that was terrifying. Crap just happened. That was like the ring girl. I'm terrified of the ring girl. I was in a haunted house once. It was like a haunted corn maze. Haunted corn maze, not a haunted. And... There was like figures from movies walking around like Michael Myers and stuff, Jason from horror movies. And I was like, I hope I don't encounter the ring girl. And sure enough, I went around the corner and there was the ring girl. And then like she started coming at me. I guess she heard me. I could have sworn it was a dude though playing that character. <laughs> but anyways, it was pretty terrifying. All right, which one I haven't put in yet? Humectant. Where you at? Right here? Yep. Hey, this thing does not want to give me the fourth symbol. I wonder if there's a way to get the force symbol somehow without doing all that. So far, that's the only way I know. Wait. I keep forgetting I gotta do the scalpel after that. I don't think I'm gonna ever memorize this process. Wait, nope. Uh uh. And don't. I mean, it's, I guess it really doesn't matter because they can, you know, open the freaking doors, I guess. What is this stuff floating in the air? Is that dust? Forceps. Tubing. That door is closed to the left. So if it opens, no something's up. Still think the body's no L. I mean, this body did point, but it did say that even if it's not the right body, it may do certain things as well. That wasn't as bad. I mean, no L straight contorted. All right, remove the tubing. Close that crap up. 
Move. Close. Bam. No. Not right now. Not right now. I'm trying to finish this body up so I can go grab old Noel. And hopefully I'll have the fourth symbol. So I can burn the crap out of her. Almost used a matchbox. <laughs> I guess she would have said can't use that here. Alright, here we go. Lovely sounds this makes. I'm hearing something knocking. Please stop bothering me while I'm trocaring. Jeez. I told you, there's certain times you can scare me, demons. I guess there's only one. Why are you knocking? Whoa, hey, hey, none of that. Stop the poltergeist activity. They're here. All right, anyways. Whoa, stop that. Stop that. Keep forgetting I got to check my corners. Jeez. Crap, go in there. Whoa, all the sounds stopped. All the background sound. Okay, I can still hear me myself walking. Whoa, what? The crap. Oh gosh, I gotta go out the front doors. I don't like how that stopped like that. What is this? Hey, I should be able to let after this. I'm trying to figure out the patterns of when I can let. Okay. Oh, hey, just like the ring girl. I'm gonna close that back up. Oh, this is the same apartment. Um, I'm just gonna close that door. Wait, she crawled in here, so she's in here with me. Oh, I can go through here now. Bathroom. Hub. Obviously, you guys can see that. What's the point of me being in here? I need to grab my my box. I'm not there anymore. What am I doing in here? Oh, wait, here we go. Get tubing by bed. I got tasks here. Tubing. Where's the tubing? By the bed. Oh, there it is. Tubing. Get needle from bathroom. So this is what is used for heroin, I guess. Needle, where is it? Oh, why did he put that there? Yeah, it's like I'm about to, he's about to do some, <laughs> the burp, about to do some heroin. Find the lighter, get spoon from coffee table. Hey, okay, where's the lighter? There's the lighter. Spoon from the coffee table. Bent spoon. Yeah. And then full baggie on kitchen counter. Get that baggie. It's my baggie. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I guess her and her dad were both addicted. Oh, gosh. Look at that in the tub. Her and her dad were both addicted to heroin. I guess he died, maybe. And she was too. Oh no! Whoa! Hey, get out of here! No! Gosh, I got stuck. The oh, crap. And maybe she was drugged up and couldn't help him when he overdosed. Get him help. She was too drugged up herself. What is this? Gosh, man, I think my time's running out, y'all. I gotta figure out that fourth symbol. Get in here. Get in here. Close that. Come on, you gotta give me one back here. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go, y'all. Yes. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, where am I? I was right in here, in the middle of the hallway. Oh, there it is, on that pole. All right, that little, what can we call that? A, a lowercase b with two lines. Lowercase b with two lines. All right, we got it, y'all. Now we gotta go get Noel and burn it. But first, we gotta figure out which one it is. What order? Lowercase b. Okay, so it's not this guy. Okay, so I can rule this one out. Not this one. I think it's this one right here. Let me check the other two. Wait, it could be this one too. Wait a minute. Hold on. How can it be two? Okay, it's definitely not this one. So how do I find out which one it is? That's not fair. Okay, so I just looked up. There's a way to collect ashes and it'll tell me the house that it is in. So I'm going to try to, I need a bag. Where do I get a bag from? Oh, what's this? There's a key there. 
What is this? Large old key. Ooh, that's probably for the basement. But hold on. I'm trying to find a bag, though. We'll check that out when we get a chance to. That's what I need here. I need a bag. Okay, where do I get a bag from? Is this it? Cremation bags. There we go. All right. So let's do this. All right. Now we got ashes, right? Okay, good. All right. Let's get Noel out. So let's bring this body back. Whoa. Stop that. Check my sanity. Oh, gosh. I'm getting worse. Is that revealing what house it is, too, maybe? I'm drawing the symbol. Let's see. Three... Hold on. Maybe I might not need the ashes. I do th still think it's Noel. Hey, anything over there? Hey, which... Is there a house that looks like that? Yes, it's got to be this one. Okay, so then that means it's got to be this Anek person. Right? Yes. That's got to be it. Okay, so I need that up top. Okay. I'm going to have to refer back to that in a second. Okay, that is up top. Yes. Okay. Where does everything else go? The three thing goes to the right, B on the bottom. All right, we don't want to take the mark yet. We got to put it on Noel. Okay, I'm going to go straight up and try to burn Noel. So let's get this back in. Sorry, I'll finish you later. Oh, do I have to finish it before I can? Crap, I guess I got to. Okay, I need to hurry up then. Tank cleaner. Wait, do I already have that? Yes, I do. All right, I got to finish with this body. Oh, gosh, I hope I don't get possessed, y'all. It's like they want you to finish all three bodies. Oh, wait, let me get in my corner. And after this, all I got to do is do the moisturizer. Let me go ahead and grab the moisturizer wipes. Okay. All right. Close that up. Hurry up, thing. Finish. Moisturize you. And then get you back in there. And then burn. What's the phrase? Please don't anything happen right now. That door closed on me. You really doing this to me? You trying to stop me? Cause you know I know. You know I know. Just I don't even care. Just stay. Bring you out, No Noel. It's you. Hey, I think it knows. It's messing with me. All right. Oh wait, I need to mark. Hey, let's go get it. It's trying to stop me. Oh gosh, this is scary. Come on, open, open, open. Thank you. Take mark. Okay, we got to get it on our body. Oh, I don't like this this noise. Gosh. Wait, hold on. Okay, I'm good. All right. So I guess if the symbol completely forms, I'm going to be possessed. You're wrong, you know. No, you're, you're messing with me. You don't know that. I'll just go and press the button. Oh, I hope this is right, y'all. I hope I did this right. Oh, the door closed on me. I said you're wrong. I don't think so. I think it's messing with me. I might have gotten it wrong, though. I don't know. Oh, gosh. What was that? Burn, baby. Burn. It's you. No, it's you. What's going on here? No, it's you. Oh, gosh. I don't like that. Can I go through this door? Oh, gosh. It's crazy. Oh, whoa. I thought something like that was about to happen. Oh, gosh. Get up, get up, get up. Did I do it? Did I do it? Oh, no. No. Oh, did I not do it? Oh, it went back. I did it. Am I hearing knocking? Hey. Okay. Oh, Raymond's here. Man, you lock me in here, man. I'm going to punch you in the throat. It's never over. But you survived. What do you mean? I survive. Can't leave? I want to go home. You can leave. But once an entity finds you, all the houses of hell will do anything. Oh, crap. So I'm locked into this thing forever. I'm sorry. I think I did the right one, though, y'all. From now on, there is always a chance this will happen again. No matter where you are. Okay, so they're kind of latched on this. to me now. Man, so I'm forced into becoming a demon hunter. I'm sorry, but there's no going back. I've spent years learning everything I can to keep these entities at bay. It's the only thing we can do. 
So what? You're waging some selfless holy war. It's not a war. Still hate you lock me in, man. It's survival. And I'd hardly call it like you could have done it a different way, but I guess the front line he didn't lock her in. She wouldn't have believed him. I don't do this for some greater good. We either face it or fall to it. I didn't even try my car. I wish I could claim. What if I could have better, driven off? Suffering hell to save us all. But I simply want to live another day, just like everyone else. When I first experienced this, I had to make a choice. I could run. And spend the rest of my days in fear. That's true. Or I could learn to face it and keep some semblance of a normal life. Okay. Normal. Raymond's kind of a G. Right. All right. It's not a life I would want for anyone. But choosing between a life of fear or control. I don't like the control. I don't want to control those things. I just want to get, get rid of them. This hell Send them back. Survive. So I'm offering you a different kind of job. Work the night shift. Learn what I know. Work the night shift. Give yourself a chance. Night shift is what a demon hunters come. So what about the other people that don't work the night shift? Do demons latch onto them too? Because it... I know it uses the worst parts of you against yourself. Oh. The more you experience, the more you'll confront the darkest. So I guess if you got a dark past, that they, they, they're easier. They latch onto you easier. All right, I shut up. I'm offering the tools to take control. The choice is yours. I hope you come back. We did it. So I guess, yeah, she has a dark past, which we kind of somewhat discovered. She has completed ending one of five, so there's four more endings. So I may have to definitely go back through this again. What this looks like here. Okay, so it'll be shift two. Okay. All right, so we got to figure out the uh, four other endings. We also discovered a key, and I think that leads down into maybe that basement area. So I know where that is now. I wonder if it's in that same place every time. So I got to try to figure that out next time. I'll check it because there will be another playthrough of this. This was awesome, y'all. I enjoyed this. So take that key. Go check out that basement area and see what's down there. I'm, I'm scared, but I'm, I'm going to see what's down there. Also, there was a thing with a code. We got to figure out how to get the code. And I, I heard that you got to play this game multiple times in order to figure out all of the, the puzzles and different things. So I wonder if shift shift two is going to have some different stuff like some different cutscenes, backstory stuff about rebecca that can maybe help us figure out that code so that's our two tasks next time definitely and then i need to check into these endings and see how we get the different endings so we can try to get a different ending each time i want to try to maybe go through shift two by myself without looking up stuff and then after that i may look up some things to try to figure it out but anyways this was so much fun this was scary as crap oh my goodness but it was fun too. I like the whole being a, a mortician and going through all of that stuff while you got these spooks keep <laughs> popping out and stuff keeps happening, weird stuff keeps happening, and then trying to figure out, you know, the name and you know which which body it is based on different things that they might do, markings that they might have on their body. This was really clever. I can't believe this is an indie game. I think it's an indie game. An indie developer developed this. Like these indie developers are killing it, man such good stuff that they're coming out with so definitely look forward to more of the mortuary assistant so anyways i am way 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 over time <laughs> i try to cut out some of the times i was just fumbling around in the dark with the letting strip not in the dark i had the lights on the whole time but you get the idea but anyways hit that like button if you like this video more the mortuary assistant coming soon like i promised uh leave me a comment below let me know what you thought about the playthrough <laughs> i'm sure my facial reactions on some of them jump scares <laughs> oh man and I love how it had a bunch of jump scares, but they were placed well. Like, they weren't unnecessary. Some games, like, it's just a bunch of unnecessary jump scares. I'm like, all right, you get to the point where you're just like, oh, I'm tired of seeing jump scares. Not on this game. Like, the way they changed it up, and oh, man, it got me. And then the flashbacks, oh, so good. So good. I love it. Anyways, if you're new around here, check out all my content. Uh, let's try that again. If you're new around here, check out all of my content in addition to Let's Plays like The Mortuary Assistant. I also do gaming trailer reaction videos and gaming shorts. And also, I started some unboxing videos with Video Games Monthly. Anyways, if you like the content, after you check out some more videos, then definitely hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate that. I'm on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Ascalon. So follow me there for additional content. My wife and I have a YouTube channel together called Team Rixie, where we post Disney World and taste test videos. So check out that channel and subscribe to it if that's your thing as well. I would also appreciate that. And our Instagram page is Team underscore Rixie for that YouTube channel. All right. 
whew, I got to go and like play something not scary for a little bit <laughs> to kind of recover. But I'm looking forward to diving back into this. I got to make a note as soon as I get done with this. I'm going to make a note to go and ch grab that key. Go check out that basement area right at the beginning of next episode. And also try to figure out that code. But anyways, I'll see you guys in another video. Y'all take care. Peace.